Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 12th of February, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, VPL League to commence this coming Sunday. And in our feature for this evening, CSS team returns from Montserrat's tour. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Trouble, trouble, trouble! Here we go! Everybody come! The one you have a mud! We are gonna push forward! I want to hear everybody say, ready, ready! Well, I'm back and we start with this item in general sports. Director of the Fit Wellness Centre, Mr. Di Mr. David Walwyn, has revealed that the National Weight Loss Campaign will officially launch this coming Friday, 15 February. The much-anticipated event will take place at the Fit Games Park, situated at Bath Plain, starting at 5 p.m. Attendees can expect the following. Meet the support team of the campaign, a group of doctors, nutritionists, and fitness experts. Get full overview of the campaign, wanes, blood pressure checks, and uh, pulse checks. Weight loss results revealed from the ministers leading up to the campaign, special giveaways, and soca aerobic session from two energetic male and female instructors. Mr. Walwyn is urging all those persons who have registered for the campaign to show up early and is also urging others to follow suit, following this, to follow the lead of the ministers Hazel Brandy Williams and Honorable Eric Evelyn in seeking a healthier lifestyle through their participation in the campaign. Now the cricket, England holds a 448-run lead at the end of day three to put themselves on track for a consolation win. And with Root playing himself into form in this final innings of an otherwise lean series, incremental gains were the order of the third day in St. Lucia. Root found his touch to reach 111 not out after his scores of 4 and 22 in Barbados, which saw his average drop below 50 for the first time since 2014, and were followed by knocks of 7, 7 and 15. He gritted his teeth through a difficult period against the new ball late on the day and was richly rewarded, closing his eyes and punching the air after he brought up his 16 test 100 with a four thump down the ground of Alzari Joseph. Summary scores, England 277 and 325 for four, Root 111 not out, Stokes 29 not out, Lead West Indies 154, Campbell 41, Wood 5 for 41, Moin Ali 4 for 36, so they lead the West Indies by all of 448 runs. We hope for some good news when we update you tomorrow. Sticking with cricket, Chief Coordinator of Activities at the Hard Times Play Field, Michael Wise Herbert, has informed that the Village Premier League for 2019 will commence this coming Sunday, 17 February. Let's hear from Mr. Herbert himself. It's that time of year again, and the Village Premier League is coming around once more. It's an annual event hosted by the Hard Times Working Committee, headed by the man Michael Wise Herbert. And he's here to tell us more about the VPL League. Why is, when is the VPL League starting this year? The VPL League will be started on Sunday. And that would be what? The 17th? Yes, yeah, the 17th. Sunday the 17th, of Sunday the 17th at 2 p.m. What we're going to do, we're going to have an opening ceremony. We will have um, ministers, um, sports, and different people going to say, um, um, certain thing we have an opening ceremony and then afterwards we'll get in, into the, the the start of the league. Um, Curtis, for this year we're going to start with um, we have a, a, a team called the Kings Eleven versus the Jabba's team. On okay. Sunday we're just going to have one match. Kings Eleven versus, versus Jabba's, Jabba's team. team. Okay, mm -hmm. so the opening ceremony. Then Kings Eleven versus the and it's expected to, to get on the way by quarter past two. And we, as you know, we have um, we're going to be playing a twelve over affair. Tell us who is the ultimate sponsor of the Village Premier League. Well, the major sponsor of the Village Premier League um, throughout the years is the Honourable Vance Amway, and he this year he will be sponsoring. He he will be giving the price for the winner of the tournament, which will be 
thousand dollars. So the winning the team would get one thousand dollars. Compliment, Honorable Van Samway. Nice. And the, the, the second place will get five hundred dollars. Um, in the past, like last year, it, it, it was sponsored by Honorable Eric Evelyn. So um, the second place will be sponsored by Honorable Eric Evelyn. In terms of the number of teams. How many teams are you anticipating would be participating this year? And what's the cost for registration? Because you're telling us what they'll win, but you haven't told us yet what they have to pay to get in in the first place. Okay, um, we have asked this year for the teams to just give us a token of $50. $50 can go towards buying um, paint for, for the pitch, buying um, um, tapes to, 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 to tape the ball, and offset some of our expenses, maybe helped him to pay the DJ because okay. you know we don't have um, um, sponsorship like we, we had like when we had the, our first or second one when we had someone come forward and sponsor the whole tournament. Mm -hmm. We just have sponsorship for for specific for, the, for, things. for specific mm -hmm. things. So mm -hmm. we it's a it's a huge undertaking and you know fifty dollars as some of the um, players have said it. It, 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 it's nothing for, for, for a team to, to, to give. How many teams are participating? Are you anticipating? We anticipate that we will have eight teams. Okay. Already we have six teams already registered. Al al already registered and uh, six, six teams that have shown in the indication in that, that, that yeah, they will part participate. And we, we are asking for if we can get two more teams. I mean, Curtis, we, we really want to wrap up everything by by Tuesday Wednesday by Wednesday so that we we, 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 we can have like um, fixtures out to all all, all of the team by Friday by by the latest by Friday the latest and and that is why because of the Kings 11 and the Jabba's 11 as as we all know they they, they they played in a in a game Sunday and Kings 11 is the gang is based team right um no, no the Kings, really. Kings 11 is a, a different type of setup they, mm. they, these guys that went out and decided that they're going to bring players from all over Nevis wow they they they're looking for the best players 11. best 11 all over there well, their well, just for starters did they win their game on, on Sunday um, so maybe they don't have well, the best 11 after all Jabba's Jabba's team won. One. So one, they, one, they, yeah. they don't have Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 they have decided they're gonna brand the name the Kings Eleven. I okay. mean, uh, team. Um, we have players like Carl and Smitten and and other mm. guys. So they call themselves the Kings Eleven. This so year. there will be no bushwhackers. Um, hopefully that the bushwhackers will, will will be there. But the Kings Eleven is, is a team that want to kind of step up. Okay. I, as we know in the past we have had um like um Daniel Philip team. Mm. Um, they call themselves, I think, beaters mm -hmm. who have won the tournament. They, they, they have stepped up and bring all national players, players that played for, for, for beaters. For, beaters, mm -hmm. yeah. As all national players. Yeah, and then we had the Guyanese team with a, a, a few national players. We have had your team with a few national players and good as well. We had the Eastern teams, we had the Bushwalkers, we had um, the Hanley Zoo team. Hanley Zoo is back, back with us again this year. And we have had a, a, a number of teams that have showed interest in um, participating in the VPN League because they see, see that the most excited league going on anywhere around the Caribbean in terms of tape ball. And when you play cricket, you also want to have a little bit of fun. Well, I want to thank you again so much, Weiss, and take our thanks back to your committee as well. And we look forward to Sunday. You say it starts at 2 o'clock with an opening ceremony. And at 2.15, the start of the first match, Kings 11 versus Jabba's team. And the excitement will continue for yeah. the next several weeks. Okay. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. This one is going out to the land of my birth, Green City, Nevis. One of the few places that has an untouched beauty that has captivated the hearts of many. Nevis is everything you imagine. Well, I'm back, and tonight cricket takes the spotlight. 
the second contingent of the Charleston Secondary School's cricket team that toured Montserrat last weekend returned home safely last evening, Monday night, at the Charleston Pier. The camera was on hand and rolling. We're here at the Charleston Pier and the Charleston Secondary School team has just returned from Montserrat. Fraser is here, Kelvin Fraser, and um, we have um, Shelton Fabs as well, who are officials on this trip. Tell us a little bit about the trip down, first of all. Did anybody vomit or hear the water was real rough? Tijari. <laughs> <laughs> but, but apart from that, but, <laughs> but apart from that, it was an okay trip. Yeah, it was an okay trip. The only, the only um, bummer about the trip was the, was the rain. It rained every day in Montserrat, so they were telling us it rained basically every day from since November up, wow. up until now. So that kind of put a damp on it because we only got to play two out of the four games, but in all, all in all, we still had fun. So tell us about those two games. Yeah, well, the two games, when we went down on Thursday afternoon, we played our first T20 game. And because of the rain, it came down to 15 overs. We made 142 for, for the last of four wickets off of off of the 15 overs. Jelani Manners um, batted beautifully. He made 55 not out for the team. Um, Jaden Carmichael, he got four wickets in, in, the, in the match and we basically bowled out Montserrat Secondary School and uh, won by 75 runs. Okay. With, a, with, about, with about, I think, just two, two, three overs to spare. Second game? The second game didn't go as planned. All right. The second, the second game, we got bowled out for 69 runs. You're after joking, right? After. <laughs> You're joking, right? This this team here got bowled over 69 runs, guys. He joking, right? This guy yeah, saying that. Basically, I, I I think probably it had to do with the uh, with the two days rest that we had because we had a momentum going up to Montserrat, and the guys were upbeat pretty much when we had the, after we won the, the first game, and the other two days were still upbeat. But then the constant rain and no play. You know, kind of put a damper on the team, and you know, you, you know, when you're already mentally prepared for a game, and then it doesn't play, you know, it kind of kind of set you back. So, we end up and um, basically crumbled for 69 runs. Ball out, Monster for 30 too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Monster in the end, they they um, they made the runs. I think in the 18th over. Wow. In the 18th over, okay. Carl and um, who, who was it took four wickets. Justin, Justin bowled beautiful for us. He took four wickets. Uh, Carl and pulled some pretty tight overs as well too. And we had some pretty, pretty other tight overs from, from the other guys. Everybody chipped in basically. And we worked really, we, we made Munster work real hard for that victory. It was no walk over at all. It was no walk over at all. So the guys, the guys did perform ex exceptionally well. Right. Trishan Francis, the captain, come, come, show, show your face. <laughs> um, Trishan, um, first time you're captain in a team on a tour, I would imagine. First time as captain on tour. Yes, it is much. Uh, okay, how did the guys represent as ambassadors? You say that the guys did well as ambassadors? Yeah, when you most definitely, the guys did their best. What happened with 69 all out? Talk to me. I can't tell him that much. What went wrong? What do you think went wrong? Um... I think the guys in battles best of their ability as they can. Okay. Just, just that they gotta focus more on the batting. That's all. Okay. All right. And um, I think Jaden Cam Michael picked up a four wickets at one point. You want to come close to me, Jaden? <laughs> no. <laughs> Afraid of the mic. All right, Carlin. Um, how was the trip for you? It was a good trip. Good experience. Um, that's 69 all out. That's bugging me. Um, what, what went wrong in your opinion? We didn't assess the pitch. We just went on there and bat. We didn't look to know the pitch, get used to the pitch. We just played a lot of rash shots. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, but the trip, it, trip itself was good, guys. You all enjoy yourself and so. Yeah, Food was good. Yeah. Took yeah. care of you. All right, Jelani, come here, man. Yeah, yeah. Big, big champ. Jelani is right side me. Um, Jelani, you made a half century. How was that particular inning? Well, it was good to get some confidence going in because leading up to this tour, I wasn't making as much as I know I can. So it was good to get some runs under my belt. And then right after that, 69. The thing's still bugging me. What went wrong with 69? Well, we had some careless running, careless shots. All kind of things went wrong. But we're going to improve for the next time. Don't worry. No need to worry. All right. Well, guys, all the best. We want to say congratulations um, still for winning one out of two. And the trophy. Tell us about the trophy. What's this trophy all about? Um, I think it's a participation trophy. Participation trophy. Yes. All right, guys. Well, congratulations nonetheless. You are ambassadors. My understanding is that you represented well. You'll say that to Shelton Fabs? 
yeah, we definitely represent it. Right? Definitely. Well, that's all package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.